Greetings to you, my good fan, says Teddy Swim 67. Had to use this medium to thank all you by messaging you on after the other to thank you for your support and love. God bless. Please do well. Hit the add up button on this my backup profile. Thanks, fam. Oh, God, definitely not American. I said, I'm not adding up someone with an account with no photo using a mildly famous name. That's nuts. Too many accounts and this my private account. If you wish, we could go on a video in a few hours' time. That's my assurance to you, Finnish. I said, a verbal assurance is meaningless. I've had every verbal assurance sent to me, including dodgy codes. How about a video call? He says, dangling a carrot. I said, it'll have to be now. Can I step out? Whatever that means. I said, some of us has, have legitimate jobs and lives and don't live on social media in the middle of the night. And in response to, can I step out? He goes, I said, only you can say. That's for sure, was his response about legitimate jobs and lives. What really makes you doubt? It isn't me. What if I prove to you that it's really me? Thumbs up. To which I responded, really? You asked that with this profile. If I took the word of every fake who assured me they were real, I'd be chatting with 200 of them. What a ridiculous question to even ask. And that was in response to what makes you doubt this isn't me. What if I prove it to you that it's really me? <laughs> I also added, if your proof is a call and not some badly done AI video note, then fine. Which he hasn't seen yet. We'll see. Another chat in real time. Oh, he's just seen it now. It's clearly been a very quiet night in Nigeria because almost every single one has actually gone to some effort to argue with me today. Whether they follow through or not is a different matter. That's really harsh to say, Finnish. I wouldn't allow that happen to any of my good fans out there. My aim is to guide you through and thank you. I didn't expect this from a fan. I understand how you feel. <laughs> oh my God, he's going the indignant route. So I responded, that's strange given what the real Teddy said just recently. I guess I have my answer now. In um, reference to that's really harsh to say, I wouldn't allow that to happen. And then to add a little bit of spice to it and to trap him, I said, the real Teddy is fully aware, hence what he said during his concert. So we'll see if he runs away. What do you mean, finish, was his response to that. Can you be polite? In response to what do you mean, I said, the real Teddy wouldn't need to ask what I meant. And in response to can you be polite, I said, I'm being as polite as I can be to someone claiming to be famous without any proof. Then I added, this could have been resolved by now by a simple audio call, but I knew you were prevaricating. You all do. Watch him try and figure out what prevaricating means. <laughs> you can easily call if you wish, he says, no problem. I went, then please do, and I'm going to call. Watch him not answer. Hello? Hello, Finish. Oh, and who, who am I speaking with? What are you doing in the program, Teddy? Oh, Teddy. Oh, wow. So, so when did Teddy develop a Nigerian accent, my guy? Yeah, you, think so. you think you have an American accent? Really? Why do you think so? <laughs> You, you do understand accents, don't you, fake Teddy? You do know that if you're born in Nigeria, you have a Nigerian accent. If you're born in America, you have an American accent. If you're born in Japan, you have a Japanese accent. You get that, right? Yeah, I do. So you do get that you don't have an American accent, right? That's the only thing, right? You really don't hear that you don't have an American accent.
You go ahead. I go ahead what? Kentucky. I was just saying that you obviously are suffering under some sort of delusion that you sound in any way American and over 30 when you're clearly about 19 oh, really? and Nigerian. Why don't, you teach me? Why don't you go ahead and teach me? Teach you what? An American accent. Do you think I have an you're American accent? I don't think I don't really think so, but you think you do that teach me. Why would I ever help a scammer to speak with an American accent? That's what you think. Oh, sweetheart, you're the one on Facebook claiming to be a famous American singer and then you have the audacity to ring me with your West African accent and say to me, can you please teach me how to speak American? I don't have an American accent and even I can tell that you're West African. Why are you online lying to people? You're looking to make What's remittance, saying? right? What did you say? You heard me. You heard me perfectly well. Don't play the what you say card or hello, I can't hear you card. You're up in the middle of the night trolling Facebook for clients. Shame on you. Oh, really? Yes, really. That was impressive. What did you say? That was impressive. That's impressive. Impressive that I recognize accents. Are you serious? Maybe. The reason that you're not successful, my little kitten, is because you don't seem to recognize accents. You know how you sound like all your friends? You know how you have the same sort of dialect and, and tone in your voice as all your people around you? That's called an accent. And you know how Americans on TV all, all have very similar sounding accents? That's an accent. I couldn't ring someone from France and try and convince them that I had a French accent. Now, could I? That would be silly. So you're sitting there at home in the middle of the night in front of your laptop or your desktop doing some furious Googling or whatever it is that you're doing, looking for clients. What'd you say? You might as well tell me what the scam is now. You've already been busted. What was this going to be? Fake meet and greet? Fake VIP tickets? What? Were you going to try and romance me even though Teddy Swims is in a, a incredibly happy relationship with someone? That piece of information you can have for free. None of that. None of that. Really? So you're going to yeah. be one of those muggles that tells me that he's doing this just to make friends so he can find a foreign mama. Is that is that right? What did you say? You heard me. What did you say? You heard me. Seriously, I didn't. You heard me. You've got me on speaker. You heard me. Probably you and all your friends heard me. I'm the only fucking one here. Really? That's funny because I can hear all the background noise. That's my fun. Uh, really? Yeah. So why are you making fake profiles? I'm racing you right now. Why are you making fake profiles? Are you an FBI? I'm asking a question because you hit me up on Facebook pretending to be someone famous. I think it's a valid question. Maybe I just want to make friends and so. 
So by lying to people, you think people are going to be amenable to making friends with you because you lie to them and claim to be famous and then spend 20 minutes arguing with them about how famous you really are. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Does it does that sound logical to you? So I'm obviously interrupting some very important work you're doing there on your computer because I can hear you clacking away. Um, That's what you think. Well, I, I think it's self-evident at this point. I don't think that you have any kind of hill to, to die on around morality or what you may or may not be doing online. Let's just agree that you are online trying to get clients and trying to make money. Ipso facto, like a common thief. Let's just agree on that and get over that stage of bullshit. Yeah. What? You're just saying your thing. Yeah, I'm saying my thing because someone pretending to be Teddy Swims who thinks that we're stupid and thinks that he can pass off his African accent as an American actually had the audacity to ring me up when he should be in better place. Really? Teddy Swims. <clears throat> this accent's not. You haven't offered one single justification as to why you are pretending to be someone famous online. You said? Okay, I'm done with this. You're clearly a moron, okay? Um, make better choices with your life. Maybe it wouldn't be so shit. And stop lying to people online. Goodbye. <laughs> They are just so stupid. Oh, my God. He's probably going to try and call me again, so I won't end the video yet. He's now come back with, hey, so what do you want? He's going to want to be friends, right? Sorry, I do like this recording while the chats are going. I, I know the format doesn't suit everyone, but I quite enjoy it because we get these little surprises, and it's been a while since I had a call with someone. So in response to what do you want, he goes, you, you've got issues with that? To which I've said about as nonsensical as I expected. Why do you say so? I said, I'm not interested in scammers, dude. I'm not a scammer, Finish, he says. Try and listen to me first. Here comes the bullshit, guys. I said to him, well, say your piece. Keep in mind I've heard it all before. I'm not sure an explanation is forthcoming. If one is, I will do a part two, I guess, of Teddy Swims. So there you go. A bit of a bonus surprise. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Stay safe online, guys. Please stay safe. These bastards are everywhere. Um, love you all. Bye.